This is a new tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover those prehistoric things called USB drives. Remember those things? Everybody uses the cloud services now, but me, I care for those USB drives that I can carry with me. But what I want to show you today is how to lock that thing. Just in case you ever lose it, you don't ever, ever want to be caught out in the cold. Basically, what you want to do, go to your spotlight and search this utility. Once you get that dish utility opened up, you want to insert that USB drive. All right, got my USB drive loaded up, eight gigs. In order to do this, you want to make sure that your USB drive is absolutely uh, clear, um, free. You don't want anything on your drive because it will erase your drive. I don't want you to come back and yell at me and say, hey, you know, he didn't tell me it's going to erase my information. So you want to take that information from USB drive and put it on your hard drive your, or another drive, wherever you want to do. And then you want to, you know, go through these steps here. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to erase. And it's already set up. The FAT, F-A-T, is set up and designed to read on a PC, a Mac, uh, whatever the case may be. Also, keep in mind that you will only be able to view this on a Mac computer after you do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to come up here to this action right here and we're going to get it encrypted. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase it. It's going to default itself as United and we're going to erase it. Then we're going to just type in our password. We want our password to be. So it's pretty fair. You want to repeat it. And for my hint here is, hmm, uh, always have a long version and a short version of the password. Sometimes it asks you to um, have a letter or a number in your password or whatever the case may be. And I have a short version and a long version. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase it there. We erase the drive. And you see right here, it's, it's basically, um, you know, doing its thing. So this drive is going to erase itself. We password protected it, we put the password in, and it's going to do its thing here. Doesn't take long. Shouldn't really have to speed up this part of the process. You'll be able to sit through it with me, no problem, I'm sure. Got it all set there. Let's go ahead and try it out. See if we got this guy. Actually, I'm going to name it somewhere else. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to name it. Get info. We're going to give it a name right here. Take that space out of there. Alrighty. Alright. Good deal. It's taking the name. So now we're down to 7.52 uh, gigs. And that's just basically based off of the um, encryption that we did there. Just took up a little bit of space. All right, so I'm going to eject the drive. I'm going to pop the drive back in and see if it gives us a password. All right. It'll load up here any second. All right, there we go. Now it's asking for a password. And you can also check this box right here to, you know, um, remember the keychain password on this computer. Or you can kind of give a computer authorization. But other than that, pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, let me log in. unlock and there we go I got my Mac cleaner I love that thing it always checks for me see if I want to clean up anything checks for viruses or anything of that nature but here we are alright I hope you guys back up your drives and I hope you guys are locking those drives you never want to lose that thing and get yourself in trouble alright thank you goodbye <laughs>